Wow, I just watched the Michael Jackson tribute on the um, Music Video Awards on MTV. You know, what really touched me is to see the impact that Mike has made on MTV. You know, a lot of people don't know, but he was the first black man to ever have a music video on MTV. And uh, he had to go through a lot of work to really get that to manifest because they were like against us having videos on MTV. You know, that was until Mike made Billie Jean. For me, that was one of the main things that touched me about Michael was the music videos. And so I knew that in making our music video, it really had to be done to a certain caliber that Michael could be proud of it. And so in watching Janet's tribute just now and all the other songs, the whole montage leading up to it, you know, going from Thriller to Bad to Smooth Criminal up to Scream, it just made me, it made me feel like, okay, good. You know, everybody out here is here to support and to continue watching these tributes. And I don't know how many more months and years of tributes there's going to be, but it's obvious that no matter who's doing the tribute, no matter where it is or no matter what it is, people feel a need to tune in. Not necessarily to honor somebody who's passed, but to connect with those other people who were touched by a man like Michael Jackson. And uh, I was just really impressed to see the impact that he's made on just MTV in general. It's great to see MTV honoring him like they are now. And, uh, you know, Michael is amazing. You know, he, uh, he, he brought it in for us. He cra got it cracking for us. So now that's an outlet for us. It's just another reminder to me that everybody that's doing these tributes these days, they're, they're connecting to something that's, that's much bigger than, than just honoring somebody who's passed. They're actually connecting to their own influences, their own experiences, and saying, you know, Michael touched me in this way. This is the memory that I have with Michael, and now I need to actually share that with other people so that other people can get a sense of how much impact this man had. And so, you know, it is really important that they did this on MTV because MTV was one of the first places that Michael really had that presence with music videos. Wow. Okay, so seeing Janet up there doing Scream as if her brother was almost there, that just, I think that's a moment that I'm going to remember for a while now. Because honestly, since, since Michael has passed, I haven't really seen Janet in the public eye. I haven't seen her make any statements. And even though she didn't even speak a word just now and that whole dance routine, we all knew what her statement was. And so it's just great to see him um, living on through the spirit of his sister up there rocking it so hard, so serious. I felt she picked the perfect song, uh, Scream, you know, because... That was actually one of the songs and one of the videos that really sort of summarized some of the things that Michael dealt with towards the end of his career with all the pressure and all the scrutiny. And so you can see when Janet's doing this tribute that not only is she happy to be out there celebrating her brother and keeping his legacy going, but you can see also that that song still means a whole lot to her. And it's also cool, you know, because we use Scream a lot in our, uh, in our tribute. So uh, if you haven't seen that, check out um, www.michaeljacksonshining.com. Uh, the name of the video is called Shining. Um, it's a Michael Jackson hip-hop tribute. But it's awesome to see uh, Janet up there rocking it so hard and doing her thing. And so, in watching this tribute, I just felt like it was another example of how people all over the world are connecting with their past experiences with Michael. And you could see Janet up there almost shadowing or mimicking her brother because she was trying to say, this is just one of the th millions and thousands of experiences that she must have had with Michael. But that was probably one that touched her the most, and that's why she had to put that out there in her tribute. And as you see, I mean, everybody has seen these tributes all over the web, whether people are doing slideshows, whether they're doing montages, whether they're making music videos where they dress up like Michael Jackson. Whatever it is, make sure that you can share your experience with the rest of the world on how this person touched you, because honestly, he touched all of us. And when we can share those experiences, it helps us all get more connected. And that's what's happening right now with all these tributes. Janet and everybody else in the world is trying to do everything they can to keep Michael shining.